All right, we're back, and we're playing Scenario 20, The Heart of the Campaign Invasion from the Unknown. So, the state of play is we've just defeated the brown leader up in the north. Uh, we've got dwarven allies. Several of the players are virtually out of the game, so brown is, has been pretty much wiped. There are a few weak units knocking around. Purple only really has one invoker over here one headhunter over here, both of whom are not going to last very long, and then obviously the leader. Um, and then, uh, so brown and purple, and also teal, who randomly summoned a bunch of units before. We've got a couple of zephyrs here, we've got um, a an assault drone over here, and we've got another zephyr here. But, but again, teal is not looking like too much of a threat at this point. And um, so the mission now is basically to clean up some of those wounded players and continue to push because black and green are the players that still have a few units out there. And then our next task is to attack the actual base. There are also quite a lot of orange units floating around and I think one razor bird. So those also we're gonna have to try and wipe out and before I can move out with Malka Shah, I'm going to use him to take out this Zephyr, or try to. There we go. Okay, this drone is too slow. Um, someone needs to kill this Ray Blade for me. Is that a job for you? Could be. No one can attack you, right? Yeah, good. Okay, that was less good than I was hoping. So I'm going to use my Wraith to hopefully finish the job. Oh dear, okay. So the Wraith missed with all of its attacks. Here we've got the a, a Grunt, who's level 2. Shouldn't really be able to stand up to a Spectre. And indeed cannot, cannot even come close to standing up to a spectre. Finally then... Alright, and the ray blade is out of the picture, and Blady the Spectre is close to another after maximum level advancement. Everyone else can get moving down here. Now, first of all, top of the map, we've got a Zephyr who's got itself into an awkward position. And maybe I can kill it with this skeleton. Ah, yes, perfect. Now, if you can survive, I can even level you up. Just need to get some ghosts around here. Okay, but the rest of you just need to get a shift on. Gotta watch out for this archer. This archer could come and do some nasty damage to some of my better units. But I think no one else can reach you, Erathan, so if I put you there and then put Elenia behind, she should be safe. And then she can heal up these spectres, or the, this one spectre. And Igor, you come down this way as well. Malkeshar can bring up the rear. I usually like to use him as a battering ram, but in this case, he's the rear guard. Okay, my enchantress can't do anything this turn. So it's going to be up to these troops over at the back here. Now Sir Slow is surrounded. This might be his swan song. 
But let's just try and kill what we can. Uh-huh. Oh dear, okay. Um, six misses on 50%. Seems like, well, half the course. And I, that means I think I'm quite likely to lose my Fire Fairy as well. So I'm going to use this. I wasn't going to do this, but um, I'm going to use my Demon Zephyr. Sorry, I'm going to use my Necromancer to kill the Demon Zephyr. There we go. And now Sir Slow can, if he wants, back up a little bit. And maybe I will reorient this front just a bit. Don't want to go nuts, but... Uh, if you come over here, then some ghosts can get some nice bonus damage. You... I don't want you to die just yet. I think you're too useful for that, so I'm going to send you back to somewhere where you can get healing namely there Phil or you come over here you can come down here as well and of course Galas himself now can move out there's no reason for him to sit on a base where he can't recruit Come on, two hits. Oh no, not quite. You're close to a level, you're very close to a level. Or would I rather... No, I'd rather have the ghost get this, I think. Yeah. There we go. That's all the leadership I can hope for over here. Um, if I send my Dread Bat over here, it will do some damage to this Chaos Invoker, but then it will die. Ah, oh, rubbish. Okay. I'm not doing great here. And I don't think I'm actually going to be able to kill this Demon Warrior. So I'm just going to move in. Yeah. So I could have a few, yeah, probably going to have several deaths this turn. Well, there's not that many units here though. Could be worse. And my Dread Bat is pretty chonky. So if it goes here and they melee attack it... No, no. You you come back. You, you can be more useful than that.
and then you sit here, get yourself killed. Unfortunately, this ghost now is out on a limb, and there isn't all that much I can do about that. What I can do is try and get some drain in over here. No, I'm gonna. I would like to be able to save you two. I'm gonna put you on a house. And then, if you can get a level 2 kill, that'll be fantastic. And then the Night Gaunt will come back here. Give anyone a nasty surprise who decides to go for my Fire Fairy. Ah, this Archer now could choose to go for Erethan. It's probably more likely to choose to go for the Ghost. Alright, time for some Dwarves. I'm also healing there, but the boss man is looking badly wounded, so I'm going to move him back. And then come forward. <laughs> now I kind of hope that I can lure out this mechanical goliath if I start heading across the bridge. So I'm going to do that. Just need to be a little bit careful because we've got this drone coming in. Alright, you stay where you are. You grab some healing. Most of the rest of you, I think, should stay where you are too. It's tempting to let you get that house, and then we'll get more. Then we'll get another drone attacking from this side. And I don't really. Not, not huge amounts that I can do with the money, unless I send Arthur in back, and I think this battle's not going to go long enough for that. So no, you don't go back. Um, would like to heal you. But again, if you stay where you are, you're probably safe. Just going to move you a little bit up to here. So that if you want to come in, yeah, you'll struggle. Going to move you back, actually, because I don't. what I don't want is the drone and the mechanical goliath double teaming. All right. That'll do for the Dwarves, they're being quite indecisive, but yeah. Interesting. And as usual, Arathon is not very effective. That was good. Alright. Yes, perfect. Less perfect. Okay, time to start cleaning it up, I think, over here. Can you go over here and get the kill, even? If you got lucky, you could. Let's start over on this flank, and then just see what happens. There's a razor bird here, I'm just hoping it, it buggers off. Where can this drone reach to? Yeah, not quite. Okay, you're nice and healed, and you're very close to a level, and you're not in range of anyone scary. It's unlikely for you to get accidentally killed. Ok, 
Okay. Got there in the end. Okay, who do I want? Do I want a... Death Blades are just too weak, I think. I'm gonna go for a Revenant, who is a bit tougher. Might even get to level 3, if I'm lucky. Over here we've got some units coming in. Purple and black are both too slow to get in on the front. Um, there are Zephyrs around. Is there anyone else down here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Necromancers, yeah. Gotta love them. For Anlinde! Most of you Elvish units are conveniently useless. Um, do, 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 do. You're not useless, you can come in. We can't try and kill this guy. Alright. Go for lore. Can we get a level if you can get that kill? And I'm gonna have a shadow. Good, good. Good, good. Now I want to kill this demon warrior. Oh, nice work, so slow. And this flank now is looking a lot less threatening. Um, it seems like now the done thing is... First of all, I do need to take out this Doom Guard, and this Zephyr worries me, because of, the, my, because of my army composition, basically. However... Right, now we have a slow... Doom Guard. Tempting to just go barreling in here with a linear and get the kill, especially since these two can't reach. But there is this person. Well, still. You can't be killed by the Doom Guard if he's slowed. So this seems like a good bet. Not super effective. Could work, could work. Yeah. And now we get an after maximum level, which is fantastic. Alright, now the rest of these ghosts. 
gonna I'm gonna want you to stay try and stay out of range well it's actually tricky because if I want you to block maybe we're gonna sacrifice one or two of you like you Okay, you can be ranged by those two, but that's fine, I need to go that way anyway. And no one else is fast enough to get out here, so I can even use my bat. Huh, and no one else is actually fast enough. I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm just going to park you up in front of the shadow then. I mustn't forget to move everyone over here. Still most worried about you. I don't know who you're going to go for if you try and kill someone. Don't think you'd be able to do the fire fairy. Don't think you'd be able to do a linear. So I'm just going to put you here. Maybe you can even get some health. You also go there. And then finally you come in. Alright. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, the dwarves heal up. I've got a bit of a situation over on this flank with the Goliath. So first I need to get my flamethrowers in. Well, you're not dead, at least. Who's toughest of these runesmiths? Probably you. Gonna plonk you here. Yeah! That's what I like to see. Uh, there is a Magus coming over here. Still don't want to quite grab this house because I don't want to trigger this assault drone. So I'm just going to let the Magus come to me. But I'll put you forward a bit. And everyone else can continue gaining health. When the drone down here respawns, I need to make sure to move Molor. Alright, and that's it for the dwarves for this turn. Yep. These are things I expected to happen. This Goliath is a right noob. I was kind of expecting this this demon's effort to actually try and do something useful, but instead, um, no, it just wants to whack the bat and doesn't even succeed in doing so. So, all right, this bat can level up. That's nice. We've got another Zephyr on the on the horizon. We've got a Doom Guard here. This 
Doom Guard is just going to be eliminated with extreme prejudice. Alright, you're almost level 3. That's good. Two Zephyrs here. Not too happy about that. Um, but I can... I think these Spectres should just be able to... Everyone head straight down the mountain. And here we can press in. So I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put Galas there. Fellow, you want some healing as well. You can't get in range, sadly. And nor can you. So you can come in here and get some healing. And hopefully not get... Not get Zephyr next turn. wasn't the most effective attack ever. Then again, you guys are not trying to stay alive. You guys are trying to buy me time. This Goliath is almost in range. So it's worth looking at again at um, taking a look now at who who you know which force has which units. Um, as far as I can tell, Black has nothing other than this Zephyr, which it's just created. Um, white has this Razorbird. Purple is literally just a leader and a, a Magus that it has just hired. Um, who again I, I can nicely kill with this Berserker. Um, green is literally just a Chaos Invoker that's been hired, plus the leader. Um, and obviously then the more worrying troops are the ones that are scattered around on guard. Okay, so if I now go in... with the Night Gaunt and don't get a kill. Well, that is a moot point. Drip, drop, drip of health. And everyone else can follow up my elves. And of course, Igor. Is everyone moved? Yes, good. <laughs> 
Lots of healing going on for the dwarves, including my leader. No drone spawn down here. This guy's gonna die if he gets hit by two hammers. Unfortunately can't quite do it, so maybe you. Kaboom! Excellent. This mag is gradually, gradually making progress over here. Interesting. Um, and I can just... The question is whether I should immediately advance. If I could put someone here, they will get attacked by this Magus, I think. Yeah, like you... Go there. You stand behind. Slightly running out of good places to heal people. I think they will just more or less have to stand there now. You're healed, you can move in. You're nearly there, you're nearly there. Yeah. But the, the the dwarves are, as dwarves do, true to form, very, very gradually advancing. a ghost there. Even though it's taking us much longer than expected, the Chaos Emperor has yet to make an appearance. What if our information is incorrect and he is not even in the capital? Nah, he's probably in his chamber running in circles and flailing his arms like a lunatic while begging the goddesses for forgiveness. <laughs> he knows we've won this fight. Hmm, yes. He is most certainly down there. He, and something else whose nature I cannot ascertain yet. Malkishar, you can feel it too, right? I try not to worry about too much about these things, girl. Besides, what power could possibly stop two walking legends like us? Okay, so positioning's a little bit tricky here. I'm going to try and use my Night Gaunt to at least weaken this Zephyr. Uh, maybe just kill it outright, that's fine too. So then... Sir Slow can't get into place to give level 1 units leadership, but you can. And these Spectres... Um... No, none of you are quite in range. So, okay. Um, the Spectres are slightly... Are slightly more need to take out this guy. Can the Shadow reach? Yeah. Then you can get the village. There we go. 
lovely. I want my slower troops to be able to get some ground here, even though pushing them across the bridge is going to be annoying. These guys have 130 hit points, but no melee attack, so um, I'm kind of salivating at the possibility of having a berserk unit get in there. Okay, obviously pushing across the bridge is not going to be easy, and it would will make my life a little easier if I can kill some of these towers. At the moment I'm just going to get attacked by one orange unit though. Okay, my units are massing. This looks good. Shame Malkashar isn't on more health, but he could be doing worse. I mean, nothing can really. Yeah, he's just. He's fine. Oh, lots of healing for the dwarves. You step back. And now you. There's another Magus in here. Don't want it to attack my Invoker. Um, don't want that. There's another Invoker in here. Don't want it to attack my Berserker. Um, so I'm going to need to bring someone else out here. Maybe you take the hit. And this Magus is is getting closer. So I could probably I can actually start attacking it now without danger of drawing out this this person. Yep, just a quick dagger slice. Very nice. making more progress towards ultimately being able to lure some of these units away on this side and if I can do that, if I can lure these sentry drones away on the left then they won't be threatening me on the right which would be ideal but everyone else I think is going to stay put for now I'm glad I've got, still got two of these flamethrowers alive they're just a fantastic unit against drones in general On the other hand, I'm, I'm kind of regretting my choice to recruit any Thunderguard, given how useless they've been. Yeah! Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Great. 
great, loads of new powerful teal units have just showed up. Well, that's handy. At least it's not as many as it was before. But I don't think I can keep all of my all of my dwarves alive. So this guy is gonna take one for the team. Oh no, I'm, I'm not on the dwarves' turn yet. Okay, well, okay, it's these guys first. Can start to establish a bit of a bridgehead here. The question is with which units, because whoever goes in here is going to be the target of quite a lot of beatdown, especially from these three runner drones. I'd rather not lose my prowler, I kind of want to keep the prowler alive. Um, maybe the answer is now that these now that these units, where can you move to? You can get to the bridge. At least here you can. I'm gonna put my source, my enchantress here, and uh, she hopefully will get a few units to come out and suicide on her. On this side, have a linear behind her in case she survives. Can't do much effective healing in this configuration. I want to get you forward. Okay, so you actually. You don't need to stay where you are, there's no point in that. Actually, there is, because if you go over there, you'll be within range of... Oh, that's that's not in range. Good. So then... Ah, but you, you go there. Better spot for you. So you'll do 33 damage. Anyone who goes here is in danger from the from the sentry tower. I don't really want to be hit by that, even though it's not that powerful. It's powerful enough. You can't fly over, fly over the void. I don't have more weak undead left. You're not in range to be healed, so you should go somewhere where you are in range to be healed. And then I think that's it for you. No point being overly hasty right now. That, did that drone just spawn? I think that drone did just spawn. If you go there, you're going to get shot by the tower. Wouldn't kill you. But what would I have to gain from doing that?
I would like to keep this guy alive, and the task of that is made decidedly harder by the fact that there is a Zephyr floating around here, and would only take a couple of hits. And you can't now get past. You can get past in order to damage the tower, but if you do that you will die. Realistically though, I just want to keep this Berserker alive so that it can kill towers for me, so... Move you there, so then you should attract at least one of these drones. I don't think it'll be enough, and I think my uh, my dwarves are going to be in trouble. And I think also... Yeah, is, is Althurin going to even bother trying to push in? Well, someone should. I'll have to get some flamethrowers in there, really. Okay, you, you step up to the plate. You're not healthy. Well, not in the, in the healthy, capital H sense of the word healthy. Do, 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 do. Not, not really the time to push with, uh, with, with blue, but, um, eh. Four turns, you'll get home, you can recruit some more units, you've got plenty of gold. I'm gonna do that, see if I can hold out here. Ah, why didn't you attack me at range? Would have been far more efficient. Oh no. Oh, that was so close. Oh well. Okay, advancing across the bridge was a bad idea with the dwarves. Still, Teal are mostly going for the dwarves, they're not coming for me, and that's nice. I keep wanting to move the dwarves. No, you sit here. Okay, Felor, you do your thing. Fantastic. You're out of the way. You can get in on the Warlord. If you do, you're going to get absolutely slaughtered from every single side. This, this is a place where it's incredibly hard to push. I'm just going to have to, I think, push very, very slowly.
There's a ghost here, there's all sorts down here. None of this stuff can reach the bottom of this tower. So I'm going to try and take out this first tower, and that'll give my other undead units a way in. Spectres are extremely weak against them. What about forest spirits? No, you're alright, but you don't have a good chance of hitting. Good, so that's 66 damage. Now you will do 36, 54 damage. So I need another 12 from somewhere. This is where you come in. It's a shame you don't give more experience, really. like I want to push a little tiny bit more here. Maybe one more square. Greedy of me, I know. And I don't know who can do it. Lady the Spectre? If you won't kill, you'll be up a level, but no. But then if you get killed, it'll be very, very sad. So you, you, and you can reach that spot, and that's all. Well, you're kind of not great in melee. You're not brilliant in melee. You, if you come out, then, then that's fantastic, then I can just kill you. So I ought to try and lure you somehow. Alright, Detea, your, your life is going to be on the line for the team. Ghosts move in. Bats move in. Black leader also could come out and fight me now. Again, that would be quite funny. So I hope he does. I've got a kind of beachhead now, at least. And more, more to the point, my heroes are all getting healed. Yep, you run away. Be nice if you could run away too. Don't think you've got the speed for it though. Um, yeah, you. Ah, uh, just when I needed a hit from you, I'm not getting it. If you could get a level two kill, you'd be unstoppable. But you can't. You've not got the not got the strength. You can get a level one kill, and then go down. That might be the best I can hope for here.
Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, if two level two units, if you survive the assault of two level two units, which you won't. <laughs> None of the rest of you. Ah, uh, well, that, there goes my flamethrowers. After saying it was so great that they'd survived for so long. <clears throat> Free food for the ghost. This guy is now going to get blasted with flame, even though he's loyal. Can I stop that from happening? No, I really can't. Well, maybe he'll go for an easier target. In the meantime, you can come in here. Well, you should come. You should stay where you are. And you actually should go and get some health. Maybe you can go back <laughs> a bit. This is, I'm going to be under a lot of pressure on this flank now from the from the new teal units. <sighs> All right, purple leader. smart, was it? This bird. Yeah! Okay, but... I can't believe that guy's still alive. Some more Zephyrs floating fairly aimlessly around over here. Um, hmm. Now this is a situation where I'm in range of being able to kill the uh, the Black Leader, and if I can, it's probably worth it, even if I take some fairly serious losses. So you're going to do 80 percent, eight times three damage if you go there. Maybe it's best I sacrifice you. Oh, I still need to take out some of these towers. But at least the spectres can get through now. Now this is a this is this looks like a great square to be on, but it's actually kind of a square of death because you can be ranged by an assault drone, not this guy, this is slow, but you can be ranged by this gut wrencher imp. You've got a couple of other units around here. Um yeah. Well, if you stay here... How on earth did you manage to miss twice on 80% to hit? That is just embarrassing. Um, now you can't even get the kill at the moment, so I'm going to need someone else. A wraith, maybe, to come and help out. Right, now you can get the kill if you hit with all three attacks. But then I don't really know why I went to get you the kill in the first place, because now that you've got the kill, you're going to die. Now some of these troops down here are also going to be in range if I start to move in on the 
green leader. Still tempting though. Now you've got 42 hit points, which is just glorious. Over here though, this also is a kind of a death trap. I've seen you fight. Now how about it, Philor? Do you reckon you... this might be your last hurrah, but that is actually okay. If you can take out General Level, he's only got the same health, you do about the same amount of damage, you do a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so Felor, you're an absolute beast. One more hit and you would have been down. You will go down now because there are so many enemies around, but I wasn't going to recall you anyway. <laughs> Let's be brutally honest. <sighs> okay. Now, um... I don't want to lose both my... Sh the Shadows and the Night Gods are just so good at taking out these towers. They seem to be far better than anyone else is at it. I mean, Gallus can do 40 damage, but he's just going to get shot by it next turn. Take 26 damage, which isn't great. And Arcane does virtually nothing to these guys. What's annoying here is that if the blue units could figure out a way of stopping, of getting the purple leader down, I could actually, I'm, I'm so close to having defeated all the leaders here already, and that would pretty much end the level. You guys are really slow. You're fast, you're fast, you're not fast. Uh, you guys aren't fast enough. enough. I need someone to take out this ghost. That'll do. And this flank unfortunately is looking mega weak. And if I put anyone down there to defend, then they might die too. Yeah, this this spot is just I'm gonna I'm gonna have aggroed so many units by doing that. Maybe maybe someone will kill this one before. I think actually the black unit ought to 
get a kill pretty quick. So I'm going to block the Night Gaunt with some bats, I think. That's pretty much all I can do at this point. That should be a relatively safe spot for you. You do the tower thing, Gallus. Clonk, 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 clonk. You're going to get attacked. That's fine. You come here. You come here. And everyone else hightail it across the bridge. You can get across the bridge to a safe place. Everyone else is just going to have to go onto the bridge. Malkishar, you've got enough health for now. It'd be useful to be able to use you next turn as a battering ram. Same with you. And if I'm honest... Yeah, someone who can do big hits with Blade. You'll be useful, even if you're not fast. Erethan, stay back. And... Get you there in case I need someone expendable, though you still won't be fast enough. Did I mention what a good mission this is? Okay, my dwarves are in trouble, but they do have a turn to try and redeem themselves. Yep, you head home, you've got loads of gold now. How much do you need for a level? Is that a level 2 Marauder? Ha, huh, nice! How much do you need for a level? You need more. Haha, <laughs> I can level up flamethrowers. Oh, that's brilliant. Why would I ever want a Thunder Guard if I can get flamethrowers? Alright, and they're going to need you out for the count. You're doing well. You've got 40 experience. That's a hell of a lot. Okay, you'll die if you get hit. Unfortunately, that guy um, just disappointed me at every single turn. A loyal unit that just couldn't ever hit. How about you? Finally, right, a kill. Okay. This guy is going to come and attack my level 2 Pathfinder here. Now I just want to hold on over here. You can't get around unless your leader comes out to help. And so I think that's it for now. A little bit trepidatious now. I think, well, Fellow is definitely going to die, but uh, there will be more casualties. And you, you, you covered yourself in glory, Fellow. You have need to have no shame now. Nice one. 
No, not the death bat, dread bat, whatever. Okay. Ah, oh, not you two. Okay, yeah. Huh? Where the bloody hell did you come from? Just Did you just come out of there? Okay, well I guess that does make sense, given that that's the enemy's base. I can end the scenario fairly quickly, just have someone running through. Um, but by right now, it's not a great situation. I'm going to need everyone I can get to uh, start dealing some serious damage. Um, like you, Malkeshar, you're going to come over here. And uh, hopefully... Take out one of these guys. Although, you're going to take a lot of damage if you do this. And there's going to be a lot of other units around. Still... I need to get the kills. Oh. Alright, could have been worse. And oh, my Night Gaunt is still alive, amazingly. So I need to try and get you healed up. Who wants experience? Because there's a there's a nice chunky chunk of experience up here. Yeah, okay. I'll get a shadow. Hmm. Deathy is looking uh, not great. These folks down here haven't been aggroed yet, and won't be. So really, I'm, I'm dealing with fighting what I can see here, which is which is nice. Makes a nice change. Can you go there? Can you kill the... If you get two hits, you can, yeah. And you're really tough. Yeah. And then these guys are guys who are easier to fight with spectres. Still need to get rid of this bloke. Okay, could have been better, could have been a lot better, could have been worse, so... Okay, um... Hey, I get you get numbers if you do that, that's interesting, I don't know what those numbers mean. Galas, are you going to come down and have a go? I feel like you're going to get the worst of that engagement, though. Someone else with ranged attacks, really. But there's no one else around. Other than you. And there's a few other units that I could do with being able to get rid of this turn. You can only reach that tower. So... You got pretty battered by that, and now I need someone to... The Spectres are going to take the care of these guys, I think. Um, no, you can't get the kill like that. You can't get the kill like that either. Um, you, so slow, are just too slow. And this is the story of your life, isn't it? Okay, so this is where Gallus comes in, because he needs one hit out of five on a 30% chance to hit. Uh, 
And there it is. He's looking a bit hurt though. Dang it. Oh, I feel like that was worth a try. Alright, that tower's nearly down. And blood back can finish it off. And when they die, it sounds like a tree falling, which is fun. I'm a bit worried about my units on the front line here. Where's my third spectre? Oh, he's here. He's trapped. Oh, that's right. That's annoying. Okay. I'm going to want you to try for the slow. Because I really don't want you getting drain damage next turn. Phew. Okay, you're hurt. But nothing that can't be remedied. It's bad for old Deathy. Oh, I really want to get the imp out of the way. Will I aggro anyone else if I go to the south side of it? Yes, I will. Okay. But I'll only aggro one, one normal drone. So that's fine. Good, nice work, Sothinia. Little tiny bit of damage. Could be killed by this assault drone. You could go onto the house and attack Igor if I did that, that's annoying. Just try it. Hopefully I'll get one hit. Oh, beautiful. Not smart to attack those guys. I feel like I might lose Deathy here, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, I've actually already aggroed these drones by moving here, haven't I? Dang, didn't notice that. Okay, could lose a good ghost, could lose, could have some damage from a forest spirit. Just gonna stick Igor here so that he has a good range. Everyone else just power forward. And everyone else can at least get onto the bridge. Okay. This is looking all right on this flank, could be better, especially over here. Don't want to lose a spectre. But now, aha! All right. Should try and recruit some people who are actually 
fast, I guess. Flamethrower, which flamethrowers are not. Um, scouts are quite fast. Griffin riders are very fast. Because the battle might well be over by the time these folks get here, so... Okay. So, who's on the front line? Who is ready to fight? Who can't get in? Good. Okay. You move up here. On to you. <laughs> These attacks are exactly equal. That's interesting. I don't. I, I have slightly got the upper hand here. One hit, one, just one. There we go. You can come out if you like. I won't hurt you. That's a lie. Okay, all dwarves have moved. Interesting that they, they always seem to like to attack Igor. Alright, so this turn is looking a lot less terrifying than the previous turn was. Got a few poisoned people. Trombone. You can't be poison, can you? You're a spirit. Yeah, good. So then you can do this. Actually, first... Well, you're not a spirit. Interestingly, you're not a spirit, even though you're a fairy. But if I put you next to him, on this flank, you can heal him. You can also give this fairy better attack and the imp worse attack. And now you can even get the kill if you're lucky without getting poisoned. No, not without getting poisoned. Aggroed these two. If I move any further down here, I'll aggro more. However, you, just you, will get aggroed by me attacking this guy. So, and the other spectres are not fast enough. You are. Wasn't brilliant. Oh. 
Okay, that wasn't brilliant either. But Galas at least is safe from, from revenge back here. The purple leader is so beautifully exposed. I do just want to go in there and, and take him out. Shame my, my good units aren't really... Yourself punched. Try it, okay. Now you just aggroed everyone in the universe, I think. Well, not the imp, but um, these three. So I could be down a shadow next turn. Everyone else, you stay where you are. You come down here. You come down here. You come down here. Come down here. Just don't know what to do with you, basically. I think just fly across. You can fly in. You've not been hugely useful in this battle, it has to be said. And you probably won't be useful again. Alright, dwarf time. You don't have a ranged attack. You're going to take a ton of damage from this, mate. Sacrifice my Griffin Master to take this guy out? No, he can't do it. It's a shame I can't slow him as well. You just go and get some health, and I'll come back in for the attack later. And then I think the rest of you should stay where you are. You can step forward one. Because, yeah, the flamethrower is going to die. Okay, everyone else. Make for the bridge! You just get a quick deb of health. You know, if I were the Chaos player, I'd be kind of bricking it right now. What you? <laughs> and another teal unit emerges from this building. Um, and with three of the four leaders down, the other one on 10 health, and me being very close to win this game. I am going to take a break here. See you next time.